Good evening to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. We are on the eighth week in Ordinary Time, Monday. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Ronald Ray Espartinez, SVD, Vice Rector. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to the Holy Spirit will now begin. Please rise. We are a pilgrim people. We are the Church of God, a family of believers. Disciples of the Lord, united in one spirit, ignited by the fire, still burning through the ages, still present in our lives. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Friends, I am wearing a blue stole. Sapagkat po ngayong araw na ito is a day of Mary. Sa misang ito, we are honoring her as the mother of the church. So please be reminded that you have two mothers. One is your biological mother and your spiritual mother who is Mary. At ito pong palang piyestang ito ay ginagawa natin ng mahabang panahon. Ngunit 2018, nilipat ni Pope Francis ang date ay right after Pentecost. Para ipaalas sa atin, sa ating paglalakbay sa buhay, may dalawa tayong gabay. The Holy Spirit who is the fountain of life and Mary as our caretaker. So we entrust to Mary all our intentions in this Mass so that she may bring it at the foot of Jesus. And for us to worthily offer ourselves and our prayer and intentions, let us first recall our sins and ask God for His forgiveness, His compassion and mercy upon us. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory 
of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, grant we pray, O Lord, that through her, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Syrac. To the penitent, God provides a way back. He encourages those who are losing hope and has chosen for them the lot of truth. Return to him and give up sin. Pray to the Lord and make your offenses few. Turn again to the Most High and away from your sin. Hate intensely what he loathes and know the justice and judgments of God. Stand firm in the way set before you, in prayer to the Most High God. Who in the netherworld can glorify the Most High in places of the living who offer their praise? Dwell no longer in the error of the ungodly, but offer your praise before death. No more can the dead give praise than those who have never lived. You who are alive and well shall praise and glorify God in his mercies. How great the mercy of the Lord, his forgiveness of those who return to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the just exalt and rejoice in the Lord. Let the just exalt and rejoice in the Lord. Blessed is he whose fault is taken away, whose sin is covered. Blessed the man to whom the Lord imputes no, not guilt, in whose spirit there is no guile. Let the just exalt and rejoice in the Lord. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, my guilt I covered not. I said, I confess my faults to the Lord, and you took away the guilt of my sin. Let the just exalt and rejoice in the Lord. For this shall every faithful man pray to you in time of stress, though deep waters overflow they shall not reach him. Let the just exalt and rejoice in the Lord. You are my shelter. From distress you will preserve me. With glad cries of freedom you will ring me round. Let the just exalt and rejoice in the Lord. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciples there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. 
Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. After this, aware that everything was now finished in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine. So they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it upon his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. Now since it was day of preparation, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one, the Jews asked Pilate, that their legs be broken and that they be taken down so the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and then of the other one who was crucified with jesus but when they came to jesus and saw that he was already dead they did not break his legs but one soldier thrust his lance into his side and immediately blood and water flowed out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yung aking binasa ay Gospel for the Feast of Mary as Mother of the Church. So meron tayong nanay kay Maria. To all of you, nandito ngayon sa loob ng simbahan, welcome sa mga nanonood ngayon sa YouTube channels kasi our view, most of our participants are in YouTube I would like to recognize your participation syempre kasama pati sa Facebook <laughs> I would like to start ito pong pagninilay sa aking pong kwento personal story sa isang loro alam niyo po ba ang loro? yung perot perot Tapos alam nyo po, bata pa ako, talagang nahuhumaling ako sa perot. Especially one day, sinama ako ng tatay ko sa isang parang maliit na soup. Tapos nakita ko may ibon doon na very colorful. At nagsasalita. <laughs> pogi, pogi. <laughs> kumusta ka? Kumusta ka? Tapos pag sinasama ako ng nanay ko sa ibang mga bahay ng kaibigan niya na may mga loro, talagang ano, it was really my childhood dream. Kaya ng first month ng pandemic, naisipan ko, ano kaya, ano, mag-alaga, ituloy ko na yung matagal ko ng plan mag-alaga ng perot. <laughs> Tapos, kasi sabi ko, bago ako bibili ng perot, magbasa muna ako ng mga sa internet kung paano mag-alaga ng perot. Naku, after so many days, may, dapat may tatlong major checklist kung handa ka pa mag-aral, mag-alaga ng perot. Una, sabi doon, ready ka ba maging nanay? Kasi dapat you have, must have a motherly heart pa nag-alaga ng perot. Kasi, pag nag-alaga pala ng perot, dapat, ang kunin mo yung baby, yung bagong himsa. E eh, very fragile. Tapos you have to feed it every four hours. Tapos make sure na hindi siya makain ng daga at mapasukan ng langgam. <laughs> <laughs> so, dapat gising ka pala every four hours. Tapos, naisip ko, checklist, check, kaya ko, sabi ko. Pangalawa naman, next naman checklist, dapat meron kang sense of emotional connection. Hindi pwede napakakaimot, umalis ka na kaagad. Dapat, you pat the head, you pat the feather, yung kinakausap. Tapos, dapat yung muka, nakikiusap ka talaga para daw little by little mag-register sa utak ng ano ng para mga cellphone ganyan ganun ka lang para makilala kanya para lalapit sa iyo sabi ko kaya ko ba yon check <laughs> kaya ko pangatlo naman pangatlo dapat do pag lagalaga ka ng perot meron kang puso at tinatawag na persistent and acceptance yung malakas ang capacity mo to accept kasi pala hindi lahat ng perot kahit ano pang alaga mo hindi lahat will turn out 
speaking. E what if later on, kaya minsan ako kasi nadidelay, yung perot, magsalita, minsan it will never really speak at all. So what if, ma-prostrate ka, ma-disappoint, you're going to abandon the perot, na yun po ang usually nangyayari. Nasa isip ko, kaya ko ba yun, yung commitment? Check, kaya ko. Kasi hindi po natuloy. Kasi nakanap na ako ng dealer, supplier. Pagtanong ko ng presyo, naku, kaya ko yung tatlo, pang apat ko kaya, super mahal pala. Anyway, maganda itong pasaring na rin sa mga magulang to develop a strong patient and very wide understanding to your kids. Bakit? Many of us, we have high expectation of our family, of our husband, of ourselves. Bakit kaya parang loro? Bakit di pa nakapagsalita itong ano ko? Sabihin, yung expectation mo that they will be the best of themselves, parang delay. <laughs> kaya mo bang i-check iyon? Mga kapatid, ang tanong po ngayon ay, do you think you have the heart of a mother? Kasi hindi lahat naging nanay ay magkaroon ka. To be a mother is easy. Magkaanak ka lang. But to have the heart of a mother is not inborn. It's not automatic. First, you have to learn it and acquire it. Second, you have to decide to have the heart of a mother. And it's a gift from God. Kaya nga, hindi ibig sabihin ang magiging nanay lamang ay yung mga nanganak. Kahit yung dalaga, kahit talaki, kahit husband, you can have a motherly heart. At yan po ang main point ng fiesta ngayon. Kasi nang itinakda ni Pope Francis na ang araw na ito maging Mary Mother of Church ay main purpose. Una, para to, of course, to honor Mary. Una, to honor Mary. Kasi bakit? Si Maria kasi, inilagaan niya si Jesus. Pinalaki si Jesus. Nagkaroon magandang asal at inilagaan niya mga apostoles. At dahil sa pag-alaga niya, we benefited kasi the church we have now will not turn out as it is today without Mary at her side from the early beginning of the church. Pangalawa, ang next point po ng festa ngayon, para daw lahat ng mga obispo, pari, lahat na binigyan, magkaroon ng motherly heart. Magkaroon motherly heart. How it is to be practical sa ating lahat? Dalawa lang. Una, friends, to be practical. Una, una, I believe all of you, may mga kanya-kanya po tayo expectations sa sarili natin, yung mga sariling plano sa sarili natin, and sometimes we cannot avoid comparing ourselves to others. Buti pa siya, maganda ang kanyang upbringing. Some people, maganda buti pa siya, maganda kanyang upbringing. Buti pa siya, maganda kanyang tata, ang kanyang experience sa tatay, sa kanyang nanay. Then you will look back, kami hindi. Ang iba naman, we compare ourselves, buti pa sila pinagpala. Kaya nga, nauso yung sana all. It, it, it sends a message also that we envy others. We cannot deny it. Yung makita mo yung kapatid mo, medyo nauuna na sa buhay. Mapapatanong ka, bakit sila ganun? Baka may kulang sa akin. Parang loro. Bakit hindi pa makapagsalita yung perot? Then later on, maisip mo na lang, bakit sila naging ganyan? Bakit ako hindi ganyan? Then makita na natin, we will focus na what is missing in my life. What is lacking? Tapos later on, maramdaman mo na, I feel inadequate. Then you will, dis- you, you will judge yourself, I am worthless, I am useless. Kaya magandang paala sa atin talang araw na ito. Gaya na pagbili- plano kong pagbili ng perot, yung plano kong pagbili ng perot, be ready na baka yung perot will be delayed. Or the perot may not learn at all how to speak. Para din sa atin minsan, those we expect are not happening. Kaya ang mahalaga mga kapatid, please first have a mother, please have a heart of a mother for yourself. Console yourself from time to time. Be patient. Inaala ko tuloy yung pelikula ni Sharon Coneta at ni Robin Padilla, Maging Sino Ka Man. 
Hindi lang yun para sa ano eh. To yourself, maging sino man ako, I will accept myself. Maging sino man ako, I will accept. Maging sino pa naman tatagap sa atin, una ang Diyos at ikaw. We cannot really control other or dictate them to accept us. But we first should be the one to do it. To be a mother, to mother ourselves. Malay mo, console yourself kasi malay mo, delay lang. So wait lang. Ang iba daw kasing pero, nagsalita, pag matanda na. <laughs> Kaya lang pa na. Pero still, it will come. Pero what if talaga hindi siya lalabas? Then, tanggapin. Kasi malay mo, malay mo, kaka-focus mo doon what is missing, you forget pala at the back of yours is already growing. Malay mo, may, mayroon pala inilaan ang Diyos para sa'yo. Kasi I believe the Lord has planned for all of us. But the most important, please be a mother to yourself. Mother yourself. Pangalawa naman, ikaw naman, please be patient also to others. Be a mother to others. Sa kapatid mo, sa makay sa magulang mo, naalala ko din kwento ni Oprah Winfrey. Kasi masama ang loob ng Oprah Winfrey sa kanyang nanay. Since matanda na siya, Oprah Winfrey, may tampo siya sa nanay niya. Kasi yung nanay niya, 17-year-old pa lang, ipinagbuntis na siya. Siyempre, yung nanay niya was not prepared to be a mother. Kaya iniwanan siya sa lola niya. Eh, yung lola niya naman, napakatapang. Kaya ang kanyang nakit niya, why did my mother lead me to my grandmother? Since niya, sinis niya kanyang background, this is unfair, unfair, unfair. Tapos sabi naman ni T.D. Jakes, yung T.D. Jakes, ang advice niya kay Oprah Winfrey, sabihin natin na Oprah, you were born with a 1,000 pound gift and your mother was only 10 pounds gift. Don't judge them according to your gift. Appreciate because that's what everything they got. Can you get the point? That's all what they got. Ang mahalaga, they gave themselves. And that, you know, Oprah cried. Ang point ko dito, please, friends, baka may mga tao kayo parang perot, yung mga anak ninyo, kasi lahat naman ng magulang, especially sa mga magulang, you want the best for your child, you want them to be bright, you want them to excel, to achieve. But what if they are not turning out the way you plan them to be? O yung asawa mo, kasi yung asawa mo, pinili mo sa una kasi nakita mo potential. But after five years, he is already different, not turning out the way you, ano. Please be very, very patient. Dito papasok ang commitment. Be patient. Stay on the board. Manage your disappointment and frustration. Ask for God's grace to accept people's differences. Kasi who knows? Delay lang. Or kahit it may not come out, not at all, still stay. Kaya mahalaga talaga, always have the, the heart of a mother in you. God bless everyone. We now pray the prayer of the faithful. We now pray to God, our Father, for the strength to overcome the temptation placed in our way by the lure of wealth and security. For every prayer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may continually show concern and support for the neglected and the downtrodden of our society. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who call themselves disciples of Christ may realize that what really matters in life is concern for others who are less fortunate than themselves. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may find the wisdom of seeking first the kingdom of God and of spending our lives in its service. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be consoled and strengthened by Christ. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends may enjoy the victory of Christ 
in the kingdom of heaven, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us pray for our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. I would like also to lift up to the Lord the thanksgiving offering of Mr. and Mrs. Patrick J. Macandela for their 22nd wedding anniversary for today. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Alay na ito ang tinapay na nagmula sa pagpapala mo At tanggapin ang alak na ito, inuming inihain sa iyo Mahal namin Diyos, inyong tanggapin Ang munting alay mula sa amin Buong puso namin Hihintayin pagpapala na amin Hiling Aming hatid alay na ito Ang tinapay na nangula sa pagpapala mo At tanggapin ang alak na ito Inuming inihain sa iyo Mahal namin Diyos, inyong tanggapin Ang munting alay mula sa amin Buong puso namin Hihintayin pagpapala na amin Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of our devotion and grant that we too who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor through Christ our Lord Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day of Mary, the mother of the church for by the overshadowing of the holy spirit she conceived your only begotten son and without losing the glory of virginity brought forth into the world the eternal light jesus christ our lord through him the angels praise your majesty dominions adore and powers tremble before you heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation may our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial, of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto Ong Choco, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace to everyone. Peace to all also in the online mass right now. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of a Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant to your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of the sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace, which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will have first, may ano po ako, please be seated. I have a short announcement. Una muna, yung rejoinder po kanina sa humili ko. Again, the main point po talaga ng feast ngayon of Mary, Mother of the Church is for all Christians to have a heart of a mother. I researched for it. Yan ang main point. And to have a heart of a mother, it's not inborn. Hindi siya automatic. Hindi lang siya para sa mga babae. It's for all. It's, it, it is acquired. It can be learned. Pangatlo, it is freely decided. You have to decide to have the heart of a mother. And third, the most important element is a gift from God. So you ask God to give you that heart, the heart of a mother. Pangalawa po pala, on your screen, lalabas dyan, especially those in the YouTube right now, Divine Word Media PH. The bulk of our participants are in Divine Word Media PH. And also, of course, in Facebook. Uh, sa inyo pong poster, lalabas dyan yung aming mass intention link system. Just in case you like po magpamisa, you can enter on that link. Just type on your cell phone or computer, www.bit.ly slash Rhine Intentions Pag nakapasok kayo dyan, you have some things to answer, then you can submit it. At alam niyo po, we have a very efficient system na upon submitting it, papasok ka po kayo sa aming centralized system and we have two to three employees to process your mass intention. At kung may problema, nakamali kami, just message us sa aming Facebook na Shrine of the Divine Word and we will correct our mistake. And just in case may mga katanungan po kayo, 
regarding our services sa simbahan or any question or comment or recommendation for improvement, just freely message us po sa aming Facebook Messenger, the Jesus and Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. And we have also email, Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word at gmail.com. So that's all. We will now proceed to the devotion to the Holy Spirit. Praises to the Holy Spirit. God, Holy Spirit, we have been taught by Jesus, the Son of the Eternal Father Himself, to believe in your infinite majesty and to reverently adore you as the third person of the Blessed Trinity, whose very, whose very being defies comprehension. Full of joy, we sing the praises of your love which cooperated in the creation, redemption, and sanctification of the human race. With all the angels, we praise and bless you. O Holy Spirit, we praise you as the one true God, with the Father and the Son. God, Holy Spirit, we praise you because you proceed from the Father and the Son from all eternity. Creator Spirit, we praise your power by which you created everything from absolute nothingness. Most lovable Holy Spirit, we praise your immense goodness in giving life to choirs of angels. Divine Artisan, we praise your admirable wisdom by which you created heaven and earth and adorned them so beautifully. Font of eternal grace, we praise your infinite mercy through which you prepared the redemption of the human race from the very beginning. Spirit of beauty, we praise your lavish generosity by which you chose and beautified the Virgin Mary to be your immaculate spouse. Divine Spirit of anointing, we praise that love by which you created, guided, and glorify the human nature of Jesus. Eternal fire of love, we praise that gentle force with which you took hold of the apostles when they were gathered together in Jerusalem. Holy Spirit, sanctifier, we praise you because of the marvelous love by which you begin to live in our hearts through holy baptism. Divine Paraclete, we praise you for the sevenfold strength which you grant us through the sacrament of confirmation. Immeasurable goodness, we praise you because of the bread that gives 
us in the sacrament of the altar. Merciful Spirit, we praise your treasures of grace through which you cleanse and sanctify us in the sacrament of penance. Father of the poor and the sick, we praise you for that sacramental blessing and anointing through which you refresh the sick. O Royal Spirit, we praise that marvelous love through which you grant divine powers to your chosen ones in the sacrament of ordination. Holy Spirit, giver of life, we praise you for those gifts of grace by which you open a way of heavenly knowledge to those whom you call to a life of sacramental matrimony. O leader of all people, we praise you for that love through which all the just on earth follow you. O Holy Spirit, fullness of true holiness, we praise you for the eternal love by which all saints in heaven embrace you. O Holy Spirit, the light of the heavenly Jerusalem, we praise you for the everlasting love by which the holy seraphim and all the choirs of angels love you. O font of all that is beautiful in love, we praise you for that undivided love which you shower on your immaculate bride without ceasing. Generous bestower of grace, we praise the immeasurable love with which the heart of Jesus has never ceased to love you. Spirit of the Father, we praise that infinite delight with which God the Father, who is without source, breathes you forth from all eternity. Spirit of the Son, we praise that infinite delight with which the Word of God breathes you forth from all eternity. We praise and bless you forever, Holy Spirit, love of the Father and the Son, indestructible bond and infinite joy of the most blessed trinity amen prayer to the holy spirit of god holy spirit of god we open our hearts to receive you that we may learn how deeply and invisibly you are present everywhere give us stillness in your presence calm us within through the gentleness of your peace Strengthen our faith with the awareness of your presence. Confirm the hope within us with the knowledge of your strength. Give us fullness of love through the outpouring of your gifts. Holy Spirit, be to us a source of light and strength and courage so that we may hear your call ever more clearly and follow it ever more generously. In the power and inspiration of the Holy Spirit, let us present to God our needs, prayers, and intentions. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oratio Imperata Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health and mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, 
Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for San us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for San us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reynadimit, pray for us. given them bread from heaven containing in itself all sweetness let us pray God O oh God in this wonderful sacrament you have left us a memorial of your passion grant us we pray so to venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may ever feel within us the fruit of your redemption you live you who live and rule world without end amen amen Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. 
Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. Let us rise for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Pagkapwa'y mapaglingkuran